everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jordan and I am so happy to have you here as you may or may not know Apple just released a pretty big update for its MacBook software and that is called Big Sur so after about a week of debating I decided to update my MacBook and I thought it would be fun to sit down customize my new update with you guys and show you all the new features that the Big Sur update has before we hop into this make sure to show me some love hit that subscribe button if you are not already make sure to turn on the bell so you're notified every time I upload follow me on my social medias if you feel like it I've got Twitter Instagram TikTok. all that will be linked down below and without further ado let's hop into it as you can see this is just what my home screen looks like now uh, definitely a lot different a lot of different changes with this update the folders definitely look a lot different as well as the apps if you can see on the bottom they're now like a square and rounded at the edges so they kind of redesigned some of that to kind of start off fresh with a brand new update I wanted to switch out my wallpaper which you have always been able to do but I just thought it would be a fun thing to show so I will have both of these wallpapers linked below I actually made both of them so I'm just gonna open up finder documents and find the new wallpaper I made so I'm going to right click it and go down to set desktop picture now this is what my wallpaper will look like. I'm obsessed, guys, to say the least. Took me a while to make, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Again, I will have it linked down below for you guys if you are interested. So Big Sur for the MacBook is the equivalent to iOS 14 for the iPhone. So now they have introduced widgets, which I'm so excited about. I actually love the widget feature. So if you just go to the top right corner where the date is and click on that, all your widgets will appear. So as you can see, you can customize them, move them around just like you can on the iPhone. But if you scroll to the bottom and you click edit widgets, you have way more freedom there to add new widgets, get rid of the ones you don't want, and all that jazz. If we're being honest, I never check stock, so I'm going to get rid of that, of course. Screen time, I guess I will keep up because it is nice to know. Clock, I will also get rid of. For the calendar, I'm going to switch it to a medium-sized calendar and get rid of the small one. Move that to the top. I'm going to add just a basic city clock. Like, oop, I want that right here. Here are what my widgets look like as of right now. These are just the basic ones that come with your MacBook. The widgets that come with the update are pretty basic, but I actually downloaded three different apps that are going to help me make some more aesthetic widgets. So the three widget apps that I downloaded were Dash Dot Dash, Mini Calendar, and Mini Play. So if I just go to the launch pad, they just show up right here. The first one we're going to use to make it a little more aesthetic is Dash Dot Dash. So we're going to open that. So this is just what it looks like when you open up dash dot dash, you're going to click add widget and now you can name it, pick the color, the text, the size, and the alignment. So I have just made all these widgets and I realized that my screen wasn't recording. So I'm just going to show you step by step how I did this. So first you're going to go and click add widget and then you can name it whatever you'd like. Then you're going to click set image and choose the image you want. Um, if you want, you can add text, you can change the color, you can add the date. I'm just going to leave it blank like this. Press save and just repeat that for as many widgets as you want. I also found all of my pictures for my widgets on Pinterest. So now that all of our widgets are done, we're just going to close on out. We're going to go back to the little gallery, click edit widgets, scroll down to dash dot dash, and then you can choose what size widget you want. So small, medium, or large. For that one, we'll do small. For this one, we'll do medium. And then you go back in edit widget and choose which widget you want, just like you would on the iPhone. So I just decided on three widgets, I made a large and two small. Then you're going to go down to done, 
And then when you go over to your widgets, there they are. They're looking all pretty. They match my background, which I love. Big on aesthetics over here. Then if we go back to Launchpad, I'm gonna show you mini calendar. So this is basically a calendar little widget for your home screen. So as you can see, it's right here, um, but I'm just gonna drag it over. Where do I want this? I'm gonna move some stuff around really quick, bear with me. So I'm going to put this right there. And then you can also adjust the colors that the calendar is. So click on preferences. And as you can see, you can have a digital clock or a calendar icon. For the text, I want it to match the aesthetic. So I'm gonna go with like, we're gonna go with like that nude color. And then for the background, you can obviously choose any color you want. And then you can also adjust the transparency. So you can either have it super opaque or completely transparent. So I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna choose this like peach color. And then we're gonna bump it up to about 75%. Then you just click done and there you have it. So that looks so cute. I think it looks perfect right there since it was kind of an empty space, but you can still see the background image and it just shows you your monthly calendar. Absolutely love this. We're gonna go back to our launch pad. I'm gonna show you the final app that I'm going to be using for a widget, and that is Mini Play. So Mini Play lets you connect your Spotify, Apple Music, or your iTunes right to your home screen. So then if you go to the top right corner, it has three little dots. You're gonna click on that. So you can either have it light like this, or you can also have it dark. Then you can also either have the layout be regular or compact. So this is compact, this is smaller, and I'm also going to switch this to Spotify. Then if you go over to your Spotify or Apple Music, whatever you have, and you just click on a song, as you can see, our little widget is right here. So you can obviously move it around and you can switch it right from here instead of having to go back into Spotify. Another thing I just wanted to touch on was custom folders so you can actually customize how they look. You have been able to do this in previous updates. So this is how I got my star icons for all the folders, but the folder itself does look a lot different on this update. So if you don't like that and you want to switch it out, this is how you do it. I love these stars and I do think it matches the aesthetic, but I do want to spice it up a little bit. So I did download a PNG file that I'm going to be using. So first you're going to find the picture that you wanna use for the new folder icons. So I'm just using this peach star that I found on Google. Again, it is a transparent background, but then you're going to right click on the folder you want to switch and click get info. I'm just gonna drag this over here. You're gonna click command C. So this is going to copy this picture and then you're going to click on the folder icon right here and you're going to press command V and it's going to update. So you're just gonna keep doing that with all of the folders. It's super simple and I think the outcome is really, really nice as well. that is how you switch your folders and that is how you make custom folder icons. I'm just gonna move these over here. There you have it. Another nice thing you can do with Big Sur is change the accent colors and the highlight colors. So how you are going to do that is you're just gonna go down to the system preferences and general and at the top you can see the appearance. You can either have it light, dark, or auto which it'll choose depending on the time of day, but I just like it to be very bright, so I'm gonna go with the light appearance. For the accent colors, you can choose anything you want, so obviously right now it is blue. You can do purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, or graphite, which is just like silver. So I'm actually gonna choose the graphite just so it matches, it's neutral. And then for the highlight color, I'm going to choose the orange. I feel like that matches the best. So anytime I highlight something, it will be orange. Let me just show you. 
So yeah, that is how you do that. Another feature that comes with the Big Sur update is customizing your Safari, but I actually never use Safari. I just prefer Google Chrome. So you've actually been able to do this already with Google Chrome, but there are some new little things you can customize. I'm just gonna open up Google Chrome. So this is just what I already have mine set as, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to switch it up. So if you go down to this little edit tab, click on that and you can choose any of the ones they already give you or you can do obviously no background. Of course, you can upload from device, so we're just gonna click that. There we go. And then one other thing you can do with Google Chrome is that you can click the color and theme. So you can choose from any of these options. I'm either gonna use this or this. I think I'm gonna go with this click done and at the top you can see that the tab is a different color and the background is a different color. The final thing I briefly want to talk about is the control center. So Big Sur does offer now a control center for your MacBook which it did not have previously. So if you go to the top right corner and just click this little guy right here, this is your control center. So you can adjust the brightness from here. Obviously you can have it bright or low. You can adjust the sounds and also my Spotify pops up right here. You can adjust the keyboard brightness from the control center if you wish. You can also do that from your keyboard and screen mirroring we've already had. So that is all right here and you can also drag your Wi-Fi up if you want. Another thing I totally forgot to mention is that they do have new sounds with Big Sur. So I'm just going to quickly play them for you so you can hear what they sound like. up this video I really hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful let me know down below if you've already updated your MacBook or if you are planning on it I'm really happy with how mine turned out and obviously there are a bunch of other ways that you can customize your MacBook but I wanted to keep mine pretty simple and straightforward so yeah if you guys are interested in downloading the backgrounds that I created, I will have a link in my description. It'll bring you right to my Pinterest and I will have them pinned to a board so that you can access them and download them. I do also have a video showing you how I create these aesthetic backgrounds if you are interested in creating your own. I will also have a link to that video below as well. And I think that's all I have to say. I love you guys to the moon and back. Get excited for Vlogmas 2020 and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.